everyone. Welcome back to another Age of Empires 4 video. I am Beyond, and thank you so much for all the support in the past couple of videos and the channel as a whole. I truly do appreciate it. Let's get right into this banger of a gameplay for you. We have 3DB in the orange playing as the Holy Roman Empire. Of course, got a little prelate going on, making sure those villagers are fully ready to give their lives for the greater good for God. 3db a part of the 3d clan of course um does stream a lot on twitch we'll leave his link in the description below and of course he's a very renowned pro player that does a lot of cool interesting strats so let's see what we have in store today across the pond there's no pond but you know what i mean i mean american it is what it is just you know just get over it anyways across the map we have nobody literally doesn't have a name um as the teal um, as the English. So I don't know what their name is, um, but they are Conqueror 3 and they played a lot of games against very high level players and they beat a bunch of them. So assuming whoever they are, um, is doing pretty well in some capacities um, and they're very good at this game. So let's see what they have in store. Now we've seen, I've seen up top um, the English have gone for a few different types of builds. They've gone for the early Abbey of the Kings to get those um, kind of Abbey of the Kings kind of like horseman style builds and then transition into knights. Um, any knight sieves kind of like the HRE sometimes go into. Um, it can be advantageous to have that little extra healing, especially when the HRE have lots of prelates and getting that early map control so you can prevent those relics from going on. It's also super important on this map, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight golds are outside of the base. So nothing else is in here besides some berries and one deer pack. Everything else is outside. So getting that early map control with that king and some horsemen can be very advantageous for the English player. And then across the way, I've seen, I mean, mainly it's the Arcane Chapel, but, oh, I spoke too soon. Hello. Well, as I mentioned before, 3db known for having some pretty interesting builds i did not know this was being dropped down um, before i spoke about this but the arcane chapel um, it could go here it could go over here lots of different variations um, not a super ton amount of um, woods slash trees are in here and there's the abbey of kings as well um, so not surprised on that one too much at this point but I mean, what is he gonna do with this one? He can go those horsemen with some juiced up upgrades. He can just wait, go to that fast castle even behind this and then get some crazy men at arms. Um, the English obviously don't do super well into the HRE, especially if 3DB scouted that and because he saw the Abbey of the Kings, he went mine work. That'd be kind of crazy because how the English are able to kind of hold off a lot of the nonsense from the HRE are because those council hall able to produce um, crossbowman now a change that was made at the beginning of this season if if that's the case that's pretty insane i'm assuming that b is just practicing this build um, obviously a lot of the tournaments are coming up um, do not know if i'm going to be casting it yet i will let you know I'm, i am going to be casting a tournament on my twitch channel this saturday though it's chooms tournament it's the one shot series it's the european um, prize pool about it's for Europeans only it's for about $250 for prize pool so come check it out if you are interested um, that will be next Saturday um, starting at about 11 EST um, that's when I'll be live so if you want to come come drop a follow so you can come hang out and then say hi and say you're from YouTube um, but at the same time don't know if I'm gonna be casting the other ones just yet but we'll have to wait and see Either way, there's lots of pro um, tournaments coming up, and of course, the expansion just dropped, and the newest kind of, I'm sure you've seen the videos coming out already, but it is pretty much all confirmed that Japan will be a new Civ uh, after the end of the season, which is so, so exciting. I am so ready to make so much content about them, plus I'm just been having an absolute blast casting. That being said, if you made it this far and you're excited to see what kind of nonsense is going to be coming out on the side of 3DB, with that mine work, we can see we already have the marching orders coming out, a uh, marching drill, sorry, um, coming out of this juiced up blacksmith. Um, if you are enjoying, please do subscribe. It would mean a ton to me. I'm trying to get to 1,000 to get a YouTube partner, which would be so incredibly cool. We're about 716 right now, so only... Only about 284 left. That's not too, too much. I know we can do it. I really appreciate it. And also, if you could leave a like and drop a comment saying what you're most excited for for the next season, 
um, whether that be the new sieve, the new campaign, let me know. Hit me up with that algorithm comment so I get shout out to more people. I'd highly, highly appreciate it. And again, thank you for all the support and everything uh, going forward. This has been absolutely incredible few couple of weeks slash months. I've been loving every minute of it. So we do see, now let's stop my yammering on. Now we're time to actually to focus in now. We have the archer range coming out. So I wonder if 3B assumes that there's gonna be a lot of longbowmen, especially with this deer um, coming out over here. And another archer range coming out. So 3DB is going from Minework Palace into Juiced Archers. I mean, I'm down if you're down. I mean, every time this man touches the battlefield, it's always something new, always something creative. And it's always so much fun. It keeps us on our toes at all times. Let's go check out across the map to see if we see anything else being built. Nope, just the Abbey of Kings. It's pretty stock standard. We don't have anything too crazy. It's floating a lot of food. Are we going to see a fast castle here um, from the English player? We do have, what, about five on gold floating a lot of food. It could be that time where we see a fast castle um, into knights from the Abbey of the Kings. I did drop a build that was quite similar. Um to this one about, I think about a month ago. It's, um, I got it from Rob the Viking. Um, it's on my build order here. Uh, it's somewhere on my channel. Um, but they went fat. You go really, really fast castle um, into King's Palace. And then you do so, so much damage because then you have fast castle, plus you have Abbey Kings to help you defend early on. And then you also have, is Appel gonna get involved in healing? That'd be insane. He is, look at him. He's getting involved in healing. The whole squad's coming with the butter knives. Absolutely ends the king's career right there. No one goes down because that prelate spreading those thoughts and those prayers around. Shout out to 10 for Tim. That is his favorite line ever, the T's and P's. Um, but we have just a archer mass, nine quick ones, just absolutely slaughtering the king of England there. Not good, not looking good at all. He's out there just absolutely cooked. But as I was mentioning, you go kind of fast castle which I, I think is happening because of the floating gold as well. But Fast Castle, so then you have Fast Castle plus two TCs, plus you have a little bit of map control from those um, from that knight. But honestly, 3DB with this unique archer build is now going to be... The, the whole Roman Empire is going to be harassing the English with, with archers in the feudal age. Riddle me when's the last time you heard anyone say that. Is, that, is he going to be doing the same thing? He does not get one, but look at the English Town Center. I will say, you know me. I'm not one to complain in the slightest, but like, can we get a nerf on TCs, please? My goodness, that thing is an absolute machine gun. That being said, these English longbowmen that are in range of the TC, plus this king, I think the king's going to go back down. That's a decent amount of resources, honestly. How much is it to reproduce one? 100 and 100. That's going to be the second one going down, which is not good. We should pull that back right now. Another one goes down. That's incredibly unfortunate and a little bit a little bit negligent, honestly. That's not the best. You should have been pulling that one back 100%. No need to lose that second abbey, uh, no, that second king right there. And 3DB does sneak out with four archers. On the back end side, we see a Regnant's Cathedral going down for 3DB. So uh, the only thing is, though, I don't love trying to outfast castle the HRE like they usually do it better slash they do do it better you know what I mean like that's just how that goes of course mine work is going to make it so they're not having an insane economy like they normally do with that Aachen Chapel but still and I've actually realized that I've forgot the classic stats so I have them right here so the HRE in Conqueror and above sit at about a 50 0.8% win rate across about 248 games and across the entire um, contingency of ranked play. We have the HRE sitting at about a 50.7% win rate over the English, around 16,000 games. So pretty much bang even. That's I mean, that's what you see from that. It's a huge thing for the HRE to get these relics. And as you can see, 3DB is already in position for two of them, three of them. Yes, he's already in position for three of them, which is not going to be good at all. Three is the the average, I would say, that HRE player gets because they're obviously so focused there on the map. And they also have those early plots to send out as the age up happens, unlike the English or any other Civ. Um, but, I mean, yeah, there's so Castle Age will be coming in, but 3DB is already Castle. There's King's Palace. So this build's a little bit a little bit wonky at the at the start. 
Um, it is, I mean, it is a fast castle, and he's going to have two TCs as well, so he's going to be sitting in a very good position. But losing those two kings early really set this back by about a minute-ish, which could really change the tide. And there's the stables. So I think we are seeing this kind of castle build into those knights roaming the roaming around. But we are getting the plus one attack. Did we already get plus one defense? We did not. Which I would have gotten the plus one defense first because we've already seen the active uh, archery ranges from 3DB. But now 3DB is making the switch to these knights. So it looks like it's going to be a knight off, which is always, you know, it's always, it's always promising. Always get a little bit of the wiggle sticks going on. They always find, they always find a home somewhere. And these, these knights are going to be kind of juice, especially with the mine work upgrades. There they are. Grant's knights, steel bartering, two plus two plus two. These things are going to be mini tanks. So with that mine work, 3DB is showing just how useful it really can be. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see a bu bunch more upgrades coming out as well. But he can get everything you really like. And these are just, these knights are going to be so good, especially when he gets this next iron undermatch as well. These English longbow are going to be essentially tickling these Holy Roman Empire knights. Now we do see this one just chasing this scout around for pretty much everything. That's okay. Um, 3DB already has two in there. One up front, we do see we finally have made contact, which is always nice. 3DB is also going to be going for capturing the sacred sites. Doesn't want to be messing around with no turtling English, wants to get this done and dusted quite quickly. The knight is back out in the field, um, but with this many English long bowmen and the upgrade not fi finishing, this knight sh might go down, but actually does escape just in time. And we can see, look at that. Look at how little damage those things do almost negative at this point it's absolutely insane and there's that knight but that knight does not want to fight that knight that one is a much bigger and badder version of the of the ladder and there we go the knights are going to be turning around to focus in on this one but we're going to be seeing if we see any crossbowmen coming out there's no castle edge upgrade either for the english longbowmen yet which do which does make a huge difference um these knights are probably going to be pulled back pretty soon Actually, 3DB is just finally going to be... But look at how little damage these things take. And now we can see five knights are out in the map. And the English player is trying to match. But look at all these upgrades coming in for the HRE player. B is just sitting there getting so much work done. And another sacred site is being taken. So at this point, B is going to be like, you have to come out of your base. There's no doubt about it. You have to at least move out with that army. And that's when I think you can do a lot of damage. Because these... Five knights into this army over here is going to make a light work of them. Um, uh, what I would love to see is maybe some walls around the sacred site, just to just so that they have time to react with this knight army, because I think it could get done pretty quickly. And there it is. Every sacred site is secured. We have the plus one. Um, we're, we should get plus one range armor quite soon as well. Just needs thirty wood. That's it. And you can get that. So we'll have to see what the next upgrade is going to be coming in. We also see the devoutness coming in as well. So B sitting here with a sizable army of knights. Look at this. Eight of these bad boys with plus one, plus one, and with a plus two, plus two, plus the plus one for attack as well. So these knights are going to be hitting like trucks. And now we only have the plus one ranged attack for the English right now. So this army will get absolutely collapsed if they make it anywhere further than across map where they really are. These longbone are doing absolutely nothing. This is the major issue without having the council hall into this matchup. And there we go. The knights are just being a, there we go. They're finally being a move. They're trying to get these longbowmen down and they're doing a great job. They're essentially just ignoring the knights behind them, which is absolutely insane doing so much damage and now they're finally going to turn around they're doing a lot a lot of damage on this side a good fight though and some nice micro here from the english player is actually getting pretty good value out of this and 3db is down to six knights and two more will be going down and remember with the king his knights will heal and bees will not so unless b brings him back um, to get healed up by a prelate which is always a possibility that knight does go down um, and waits his charge on that one. So it's actually going to be sitting in a really good spot. But B does have crossbowmen now as well. And we just have a bunch of horsemen running around all around town, which is absolutely insane. We can see that that one knight is now getting separated over there. So we can stop this timer going down 8 minutes and 23 seconds. Um, but B does have 11 prelates. So I don't think you want to be messing 
with any of this over here. There's also two relics in the front. There's three relics. Is there? He got all five. He got all five relics. That is going to be a really, really tough go. All five relics, and two of them are in this forward gold and forward berries. And all these archers, and look at these prelates are coming down to actually start healing. So actually counter out the, the king's healing with the he some healing of their own. And those, in, those um, f even those few crossbowmen are so pivotal in this one, as you can see, just how quickly those opposing knights go down. And how long these um, HRE knights are actually surviving. We have even more damage being done. All these English longbowmen are being taken out finally. And, it, and Beach is going to retreat back. He sees all of these prelates. He's coming back home for some heals. And look at there's still there's six of them hit sitting here, just doing so so much work. We have B doing even more. Look at this, three prelates. Just there's so much production right now. As you can see, 1,600 gold with how many prelates that B has in the map, and they're all spreading those thoughts and those prayers across everywhere, the T's and the P's, baby. And this knight army is an absolute juiced army up front. Look at that. Plus four range defense. Those These English Longbow are going to do absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing to them. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty much... Let me see. They have... What, they have 11 attack? And these bad boys have 8 defense? <laughs> so 3 damage a go. And there's only 14 of them. And they're being left behind by their friends over here. Here we go, another engage and absolutely slaughtered one of the knights up front. And it doesn't even it doesn't even feel like they have a backline right now. Because that's how strong these knights actually are. And they also have plus 1 attack armor uh, damage as well. And there's the GG's quick done and dusted. That was an absolute masterpiece by B, utilizing that early um, early pressure from the mine work to get that plus one and kind of do, he scouted out, saw the Abbey of the Kings, knew what I probably saw, knew it was gonna be happening in terms of that like kind of like horseman build, knew he could do it better as the HRE, so went for those early longbowmen, got some early damage going on, and then on top of that, those two king kills really changed the tides because it was not allowed the English player to actually get up quick enough, and then after that point, those HRE knights with those um, mine work upgrades were absolutely insane. Of course, when you get five relics, it's going to be a tough game no matter what happens. But a great play there by B. Hope you guys enjoyed this absolute clinic on how to play HRE into English. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy, please do like and subscribe. It would mean a ton to me. And hope you have a great night.